Welcome to this video on uploading evidence and using templates in Pebblepad. I'm Robin Weeks, one of the members of the Glenside Education Innovation Team at UWE. This video will guide you through the steps you need to take in order to upload evidence such as files, images and videos and use templates in your Pebblepad workbook. In this video we will cover what types of evidence and documents you can upload, how evidence is stored, how to upload evidence, how to use templates, naming your files to keep organised and important factors and limits of Pebblepad to be aware of. You will be required to provide evidence as part of your workbook and the type of evidence you need to provide will be dependent on your course. This guide is not course specific, so speak to your UWE tutor or refer to your course or module handbook for more information about the type of evidence you need to provide. Whatever you are asked to provide, Pebblepad can accept almost any file type you wish to upload, whether it's an essay on a Word document, a PDF containing policy information, an image of a medical poster you found useful, or a video of you carrying out a competency or task. This may not seem important to know, but understanding a little about how Pepperpad works will help you upload and manage files in your asset store and workbook. Every file you upload to Pebblepad is stored in your asset store. If you're familiar with cloud storage, like OneDrive, Google Drive or Dropbox, then the Pebblepad Asset Store works in a similar way. One key difference is that when you upload evidence to your workbook, you're actually creating a link to the file in your Asset Store. And when your UE Tutor or external assessor clicks on the link, this opens the file in a new tab, just like when you click on a link within a page of a website. Don't worry if this is not fully clear to you right now. Once we go over the steps, it should start to make a bit more sense. So let's go over how to upload evidence. By now, you should be a little familiar with Pebblepad. You should be able to log in and you may have started to complete sections of your workbook. If you have not done this, then please watch our first two videos in the series called Introducing Pebblepad and Collecting Your Workbook and Sharing for Assessment. We're going to start in the workbook. Whenever you see a blue Add button, this is a space for you to add evidence. To add, click on the button and the options to add evidence or a comment will appear. Click Add Evidence. The sidebar will provide you with the option to add an asset or to add text only. Click on Add an Asset and this will provide you with a list of all the files currently in your asset store. You can change this view if it helps. If the evidence or file is already in your asset store, then you can just tick it. However, if you're uploading new evidence from your device, then select Upload New. You now have the choice to drag or select a file from your device. I'm going to use the Select option, Find File, then select Open. You have further options here to add more files, rename and tag. Or you can just confirm Upload at the bottom of the page. So what we've done so far is add a file to the Asset Store. We now need to make sure we link it to this part of the workbook. We do this by checking that there is a green tick next to our file. It's already ticked, so this means we're going to add it to the workbook. You can always add more files from your asset store here. Click done and then add a justification space will appear. As a rule, you don't need to add text in this section, but check with your UE tutor just to make sure. At the bottom of the sidebar, click Save. Then click the blue Save at the top of the page. You can check what evidence you've added to this section by clicking the Evidence tab. 
This will open the sidebar where you can view what evidence has been uploaded. From here, you can also mark your evidence as complete by ticking the This Evidence is Complete box. And that's how to add evidence. What we've done is upload some evidence into our asset store. We've ticked to link it to the particular section of the workbook and saved. Tick, done, save. If you have some evidence to upload but don't want to add it to your workbook, then you can go to your asset store and click Upload File. Follow the steps and it'll be there for you at a later date. Templates are used in some, but not all workbooks. If you have templates, then they will be found as a link within your workbook. These templates have been created by a member of the Glenside Education Innovation Team at UWE. Pebblepad also have a few preset templates in the resource store, but unless instructed by your UE tutor, you shouldn't need to use them. To use a template, click the link to open. Then save the template as something memorable. More on this in a minute. Click the blue save when you're done. This save copy is now stored in your asset store. You can fill in sections as you go, clicking save regularly. And once you're done, you can close the tab down. The next step is to upload the completed copy to your workbook. As before, we follow the steps. This time, the template is already in our asset store and is ready to link. So all we need to do here is tick, done, save. The template is now ready for your UE tutor or external assessor to view and where required to complete their sections. If there are sections for a tutor or assessor to complete, then please make sure you save the template and upload it to your workbook before they need to fill in their sections, as tutor will not have access to your template. One important thing to mention here is to use new templates every time. Never write on an old template, then save using a different title. All you're doing is writing over the old template and not creating a new one. Whatever evidence you're uploading, it's important to name your files clearly and consistently. This is not only important for PebblePad, but a good habit to get into wherever you're saving files. For example, you may have an image of a hand washing poster that you want to add to your asset store to link to a workbook at a later date. If you name this poster image, it will be harder to locate and identify when you come to link it to your workbook. Similarly, you might complete monthly reviews with your tutor. If you choose to use the word review, every time you save, you will not have a clear way to recognise which review is which. Instead, use things like numbering and dates and be more exact about what the file you're uploading contains. Get into the habit early and this will save you a lot of time when you come to add evidence to your workbook. Like all systems, PebblePad has its limits. So it's beneficial to know what PebblePad can and can't do early on, as it will save you from some potential pitfalls in the future. Here are a few main points to note. An assessor or tutor can only view what files you have added to your workbook. They cannot see your asset store. Files such as Word documents cannot be edited in PebblePad. If you have an updated document, you will need to upload it again. So it may be worth making sure you have a final version of your file rather than uploading multiple copies. You have the option to delete in PebblePad. Deleted files are stored in the deleted folder and can be restored. We do not recommend permanently deleting or purging files as they cannot be retrieved. There's no storage limit in PebblePad, although single files cannot exceed two gigabytes. If you're planning on uploading things like videos, then check your device settings before you record. You can find more information on how to use PebblePad in a range of resources, 
created by the Glenside Education Innovation Team. In the first instance, please check the Pebble Pad tab in your Blackboard module or program page. There are also guidance videos on introducing Pebble Pad, collecting your workbook and sharing for assessment, and sharing your workbook with an external assessor. If you need any technical support, then you will also find your main point of contact in the technical help section of your workbook.